Hi, my name is Pop. I'm making a video tutorial in Ubuntu Basics and I'm talking about music. And in this tutorial I am going to show MPG123. That's not miles per gallon, but rather MPEG. And this runs in a terminal. And let me turn it off and that way I can go back and we will show how to get it and how to control the program. Close terminal, it's off. If you go to the Ubuntu Software Center, you can see that you can get this program. It is run in a terminal and it's MPEG layer 123. The green check mark means that I've got it installed. And if you go down, it doesn't got any stars, it doesn't have any reviews, it's so basic, it's so little. And why would you want to run a program in a terminal? Well, because all the big guys, Banshee, Rhythmbox, everybody else, they probably use this program that's run in the terminal internally to create their own big program, which is basically a graphical user interface that's wrapped around these terminal type programs. And if you play with this a little bit, you might understand more about how Ubuntu works. I will now show you how you can get the program. Now if you go up here, you can create an icon for it because you see this program does not have an icon. And I have a prior video tutorial in Ubuntu Basics that shows how you can create an icon from a terminal only program. And then later if you change your mind you can destroy it. It's easy peasy. I invite you to look at that other uh, video that shows how to do that. Let me now open up the terminal, Control alt t and I'm just going to use the uh, history by using the up arrow to go back. And this is the same song that I had been playing. And please notice that I've got the syntax of the program, mpg123-c, and then we've got all of the different folders, and I'm drilling down, home, pop, music, techno, and then that is the name of the file and it has a file extension on it mp3 and please also notice that music documents desktop in Ubuntu are always with a capital letter so pop here that is user that would be you okay I am going to just hit enter it's playing with the function key on the left home row I'm gonna hit that with my thumb and then with my right hand I'm going to go plus. I just hit the asterisk and the asterisk is the instant mute. You hit asterisk again while holding down that function key and then the minus key to make it quieter and quieter. Now this program is playing only one song right now and when it gets to the end well heck it's gonna stop you can use this program mpg123 to play a whole string of songs let me hit control c i stopped it it's over with and i'm going to again use the up arrow and i'll find help i need to go full screen on this so you can see the whole thing it says mpg123 space dash help and when i hit that it shows all the different switches and they're imposing and gee whiz, nobody wants to do this anymore because, you know, life is easier with a graphical user interface. But with these switches, and if you know how to program a little bit here and there, you can make your own music player, or at least a bare bones one that doesn't use any of your oomph in the computer. And this will at least play one song. At the most, it'll play a whole string of songs any way you want it to do so. My name is Pop. I have got a whole bunch of videos in Ubuntu and I call this Ubuntu Basics and I thank you very much.